I'm way beyond science. I'm from the soul. I'm telling you, you are born to be able to use your brain, brain 100% in the pursuit to bring happiness, strength and health to your families. We never knew how to go within to heal our hurt. We never had it and now we have it. Today I'm talking to Wim Hof about controlling the brain and it was thought before that we could only control a small percentage of the brain but now it's proven that we control a lot more of it and that's why I'm climbing to this cold today because previously it would be a scream coming from my body but I'm going to try and use the power of my mind to get into this freezing cold water without screaming. Today's video was sponsored by Brass Monkey. They are the market leader in premium ice baths and plungers, but they didn't ask me to sell any of their ice baths or push any of their products. They asked me to share one message with my viewers, and that was to get your cold on. Under any circumstances, go and get your cold on. When I first approached Dan, the CEO of Brass Monkey, he just wanted to inspire people to go and get their cold on. And what Brass Monkey have done is produced a free guide, an ebook, that you can download with the link in the description. There's no sign up required. You don't need to put any details. You just download from the link and you use that guide to show you how and why you should get your cold on. You can even find a free guide on their website of how to turn a old chest freezer into an ice bath for free. Seriously, these guys are passionate about cold therapy. Thank you, Breast Monkey. Let's dive into this video. We have broken the, uh, the spell, the spell or the paradigm that we thought we are not able to control our brain 100%. It's now there. It's 100%. Not 99, 98, or 16, what they said was, uh, possible to control the emotions that what makes us different than AI robots or technology that is our emotions the love the empathy the trust the confidence the purpose all that and pain killing as well we are all capacitated by the laws of mother nature itself our birthright to be happy strong healthy anytime with even in the most stressful of situations in our lives. There was the finding 16% is willfully uh, 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 in, in control of our brain by humans. Yeah, that, that is the normal standard. That is the normal and physiological neuroscientific uh, understanding of what we can do within our brain. 16% control and now it's 100. So explain that. And I say, yeah, it is there. And a lot has to do, like dolphins have a brain more than twice as big as ours. But they are not uh, building bridges and, uh, and technology and all. No, they use it for echo. A lot is echo. And they are uh, very, yeah, there is a lot of emotion going on with dolphins. So that is emotion. And that... The biggest part of our brain is actually our emotion. I mean, what, what are thoughts when you are in love? It's nothing, it's pathetic. What is death when you are uh, having all the money in the world and the power and this and that? It's nothing. So it's much bigger than our thinking brain by which we thought we can control our emotions, but it is not. Emotions happen. Now, when emotions are disturbed, are we able to tap into the emotions and cleanse them from the wrong stress inflicted by a uh, disruptive uh, situation like death or uh, like a, a marriage broken, divorce, or anything like that? Uh, anybody can understand that. And if we go back uh, to what you said, Jordan, in the old story of the woman or the mama who lifts up a car because her child is underneath 
is tapping into that power of the emotion. Only at that time, she is not thinking. She is not blocked in her thinking loops. She goes past. And do we have now found a way to tap into that emotional brain, which is uh, uh, almost the rest of ours? So we got a thinking brain, 16% that it is able to control. Then we are controlled by emotions, the limbic system. And then we have a reptilian, the, the brain stem, the oldest. And that is more into breathing. The uh, breathing, fight, flight, food. Yeah? To be very basic, that it is. And those uh, things are very strong. It, it drives men and women. Uh, it, it's what it is. But emotions is bigger, is bigger. We can override the brainstem. We can override even death when we see our child underneath a car or amidst the traffic. We go, there's no thinking, fear is gone. But we should not need, we should not need triggers like that to make use of that power to go within that 100% of our brain. And now we have shown how to do it. And of course, it took steps to do it because uh, a stubborn uh, uh, understanding of what we can do, even scientifically stated, and to overthrow that, that is overthrowing and shifting the whole paradigm, the whole narrative told us by schools, doctors, the systems, the governments, you can only do so much and that's it. That's the way you're going to be schooled. And I say that is nonsense. What is really sense is to be able to process your hurt when you are in uh, emotional agony because of divorces, death, uh, uh, you lost your job, you you're, you have no money suddenly anymore after having millions and or whatever a reason, it affects us. And that affects our deeper brain in which we never knew how to go within and to rectify, to process, to repair, to heal our hurt. We never had it and now we have it. First, I showed in Hanover, in the, uh, the, the best brain scans of the world, how to activate willfully, willfully, 100% neural activity in the brain. As if the people were on LSD. If you see LSD, oh, the whole brain is in, wow, this neural uh, discharge is everywhere, and it's like a disco. Now, if you do these breathing techniques I'm teaching, and these are not shallow breathing techniques, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. No, when you go into the cold, you do, <gasps> it's like life comes in because you need it life force to oppose the cold in the cold you cannot say ah that, that's cold and uh, easy does it doesn't work because you uh, you go into an overdrive of having no control anymore so i learned to cultivate that breathing by going into the cold so many times that i saw the effects that I cultivated it and replicated the power activated through that breathing within that is able to oppose the stress of the cold, now to do it without the cold. That is done by the breathing. And this is what they have shown in a comparative study. After injection, suddenly the internal systems are so activated and with that the immune system endocrine system, uh, cardiovascular system, lymphatic system, actually all the systems inside, just through breathing and the intention, but just the breathing. Uh, uh, doing the breathing alerts the inside system so much that the bacteria has no chance. Imagine, bacteria, virus, vaccine, no chance. 
That is the way our systems are built to be, only never activated to the fullest. Of course, we live in comfort zone behavior. And we did not know. We want to be strong and look strong and beautiful and Mr. Olympia here and Mr. Hey, hey, that is all great. Takes a lot of discipline, a lot of path, but how about the internal? The internal is being trained through going into the cold. There is no excuse there. The cold is righteous, but merciless as well. It just, your brain is pathetic. You have to tap into the deeper parts of the brain. And this is what has been shown in scientific uh, research that we are able to activate willfully through breathing 100% neural activity inside the brain, the whole brain at work. And that's only logical. And there we get getting into the threshold of the power of our own mind. It's logical. When it is half alive, it's on the standby, it doesn't work. And you don't learn to make use of those parts of the brain. But now we have found the way to activate it all and biochemically and neurologically activate it to the right conditions by which we can uh, throw in the seeds of our thoughts inside to do whatever we came here to do for having purpose feel the purpose feel the power makes confidence and you can trust it and you can see it and then people are able to control their mind body and with that the health which is the immune system uh, the, uh, the, the happiness which is the endocrine system the uh, hormonal system and the strength which is the energy systems inside uh, the cell mitochondrial etc there's all a lot of blah blah but in the end, we are built to be alerted inside and to maintain that condition willfully, uh, uh, willfully and to uh, even uh, uh, go in overdrive when we need it. This is what I lately have shown in the newest of the best brain scans of the world. Uh, I showed, uh, compared to nine and a half thousand uh, people, how to activate that what was unknown in science, neuroscience, to be uh, tapped into by humans voluntarily. It was not possible. And now it is not a little bit possible, it's 100% possible. We need to throw overboard that we cannot control our brain. We are here to control our brain. That's the, uh, uh, that is the most logic, and that is the way we are born. Happiness, strength, and health. The immune system, endocrine system, energy systems inside ourselves. The science is done. Now it is here, and it's not complicated. It is always the first man who does it. That is the pioneer. Sorry, that's me. Okay, uh, but I'm a simple man. And you know what it is? If you don't share, you sit with the shit. And I don't want that. I want to share with my brothers, my families, my, uh, 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 my people who are unnecessarily suffering from, I have no purpose, I don't know what to do, I'm in a shitty position, etc. I don't know what, no. That all has changed. I get the best of energy of people I heal. So I will not uh, let uh, that go. Start today, start here in the now. Retune, or uh, uh, the, the, the famous mantra, just be happy, strong and healthy. Within your control, the rest is bullshit. So whenever you feel the bullshit again, hey, tune the radio, get the music going. Get yourself going, get your dreams going, your purpose, that, that what you always wanted to do is who you really are and the rest is disturbance. Get rid of the disturbance. So, so that's 16% of capability of the brain. When we're reaching for 100%, it's about eliminating the noise, it's about dial it. Yes. If we pinpoint our focus, we are using 100%, not 16%. Exactly, very, very well said. 
if you learn to go into the icy water, this is a physical way to enter into the power, uh, internal powers and you activate, which is connected to the brain. Then when you are exercising the deepest of the brain, which is survival, the brain stem, that's what you need when you go in, it's connected there with, then because you are doing it, you're connecting. And uh, as you are connecting, you connect with the deepest of the brain. Then where else can you not go? That is the entrance point. And I know how to explain that with the periaqueductal gray hemisphere and the cerebellum and the in, uh, afferent and efferent uh, electrical uh, neural currents, etc. How they control. I'm way beyond science. I'm from the soul. I'm telling you, you are born to be able to use your brain 100% in the pursuit to bring happiness, strength and health to your families and to realize your soul. All of this was made possible with our sponsor Brass Monkey. They're the leader in automated ice making plunge pools and ice baths and they're absolutely amazing. However, they didn't ask me to promote their product. All they asked me to ask you guys one thing, no matter which way you try, to go and get your cold on. Whatever it is, cold water, cold showers, cold baths, cold plungers, one of their ice baths, just go and get your cold on. They made a free ebook available with the link in the description. There's no need to sign up. It tells you exactly how and why you should take up the habit. Just download the PDF and get your cold on. CEO of Brass Monkey, Dan, wants to help build stronger bodies and stronger minds and inspire people to go and get their cold on and of course share this amazing product all around the world. However, it's not for everybody and that's why on their website you'll also find resources of how to turn an old chest freezer into an ice bath and as you might have guessed it, for free again. Seriously, these guys are so passionate about cold therapy. Thank you, Breast Monkey, for partnering with us on this and go show them some love by getting your cold on. That's it, that's all they're asking. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm doing all the intros and all the content from within a Brass Monkey cold bath. And I've absolutely loved the experience so far. It's the best experience I've had in a cold tub. Um, and all I'm asking of you guys is the same thing. Go get your cold on, guys, that's it. Also, go inspire some change. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.